why is this type of research, in your point of view, um, uh, important? I approach uh, the field of microbiology and microbiome research um, as an anthropologist. That, that means for me largely conceptually. And I think when one looks from a perspective of a conceptual history, how we have been thinking about humans in general or in the field of biology, then it turns out that we, we have been thinking about them mostly as individual bounded cells. So in biology, uh, since the discovery of DNA, we described humans as genomically autonomous. Um, and I do think that the, the discovery of the interaction of microbes with human beings is significantly challenging this concept of an autonomous individual bounded self. So when I cannot say, strictly speaking, where Thomas Bosch ends, and where his microbiome begins, because there is, a, there is an, an overlap, an indistinguishability, then I'm very interested in, in thinking about humans from the perspective of this indistinguishability. I think it is going to change significantly and lastingly, given also the, the huge public interest in microbiome, it is going to change how we humans think about ourselves, how we relate to ourselves or others in terms of microbial intimacy. Um, it's also going to change, I very much hope so, our relation to the environment, to, to nature in which we live, in terms of, uh, or in the age of climate change, it seems to me that microbiome research actually has a significant contribution to make in, uh, for how we can rethink um, what it means to be human in, in a natural living world. Where do you see this field will move and should move in the next 10 or 20 years? There is a visible trajectory that one can already anticipate and that I'm much looking forward to. And then the field is set up, I think, for several surprises as sequencing techniques get more refined and are capable of finding microbes that are rare but significant. So the, the, the visible trajectory would be uh, to say, when I got my degree in neuroscience, the idea that 95% of our serotonin is produced in the gut was completely, I mean, it was insane. Yeah, it, they would have kicked me out, but I have said that. So the rethinking of brain function, for example, in terms of microbes and the contribution of microbes are the simple idea that some of the bacteria that we have in yogurts are neuroactive uh, substances. Th this is going to change, I, I think, our understanding of the brain. I think similar changes we will be seeing in our understanding of development. In, uh, to the degree that bacteria are significant for the de induction of developmental processes. Likewise, we will see um, a massive, I think, uh, reconfiguration of our understanding of pathological processes. So whether uh, bacteria are actually a pathogen or not is, is, uh, uh, seems to be an ecology issue. How many of other bacteria are there? Do they mutually control each other? And our understanding of evolution will be changing in terms of the holobion theory. However, um, as we can only detect bacteria above a certain threshold, um, I think that when we will discover uh, when we will be capable to, to actually sequence all of the bacteria that are there, we will be up for some surprises uh, in terms of which bacteria are significant and which are not. We see, and you are one of the examples, we see an increasing uh, contribution coming from outside the natural sciences, from the humanities. Do you see a role of the humanities in this type of attempt to understand complexity of life? Well. Um, I definitely see a role. Uh, uh, that's why I'm here and why I, I hope to be able to participate. I do think that we have to drop the distinction between the human sciences focused on culture as an autonomous sphere and the life sciences focused on biology and then we mutually critique each other and shake our heads. I do think that the, the human sciences, by simply asking conceptual questions about how do we think the human here, are new ways of understanding the human emerging, can make a significant, almost autonomous contribution without relying on the culture concept which continuously prevents a proper understanding of the life sciences. Uh, I personally am convinced that, that the microbiome field is one of the most potent sites of reconfiguring what it means to be human today. And I think that we have to learn to understand the philosophical substrate, as it were, that microbiome research is transporting 
otherwise uh, we, we lose touch with reality. So I, I, I would hope, would wish that um, the microbiome field, which is very attractive to the human sciences, might be one venue in which we can learn across disciplinary divides, also between natural sciences and human sciences, to talk together and to move forward together.